Now let's go about these two following scenarios in PubMed only. What would vaccinating the children with MMR cause autism? So what are the P elements? P is children with uh, vaccinating MMR, not vaccinating MMR, causing autism. The O is autism here. So actually, I'll be looking now not into the P, which are the children, and then only, or not with the uh, interven intervention, which is MMR. The comparison is no MMR and the uh, O, autism uh, only, but also with the autism, which is the outcome. So actually, this time I would be looking into the P and I and the O, because there's no C here. Let's see how to go about it in PubMed. So again, from the middle of the page, I select the undefined the clinical queries. I go about typing MMR autism. Do I need to put an and if I find that it was not mapped to the right mesh, then yes, I would. Is there a therapy question? No, it's a causation. It's an etiology question. I go to the CO. This is not complete until I go look whether it was mapped to the right mesh or not. I don't know why it's not taking me to the new PubMed. So MMR actually was not mapped to the right mesh. It was mapped to the journal name. So how would I fix this? I would come and type either MMR vaccine or I would type Let's see now if it fixes it. So I go under the search details in the new PubMed under advanced and then under details. Yes, it was mapped to the right mesh, measles, mom's rubella. Or I come and write it all measles, mom, and rubella. I didn't understand the abbreviation here in PubMed. That's how I go about it. Am I done? Not yet. I have to select the additional filters, which is the H. Now I'm showing it. Until I select it, it's not selected. Now when I end it with it, it gives me 104, which is still too much. So instead of broad, I would type in narrow, which is specific. So both autism and measles, mums, rubella are mapped to the right mesh with the right limits and the right clinical query. To decrease my search, I would go into removing the keywords that come along the meshes. So I would stop here. It would be measles and when and autistic disorders. Voila. search 28 it didn't defend that much the keywords here they didn't do much of the work I can either come in uh, what can I do look into the if there is more specific ones in instead of the measles mom's rubella if there's even more or uh, focus them so instead of typing mesh terms I would come type mesh no explode major sorry which means or which indicates the focus so 15 results so when i focused i decreased the results as well i play around with it for me to fit my convenience, my time, my resources, for me as a physician to fulfill at the point of care the, uh, the patient's needs and the patient's concerns. Let's look into another scenario. If a perimenopausal woman comes to me in my clinic and explains her concern about the hormone replacement therapy that I ha have prescribed for her, and she said that she heard from her neighbor that it would cause cancer. Again, this is an etiology question. The P would be perimenopausal woman. The I would be the intervention would be hormonal therapy, hormone replacement therapy versus no hormone replacement therapy 
versus the outcome cancer. So I have to look up cancer here because it is the concern of the patient. I always try to look into the concern of the patient. Again, in PubMed, I go where? Under defined clinical queries. Under find clinical queries and I type in perimenopausal perimenopause, not necessarily perimenopausal, uh, peri, not peri, 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 perimenopausal. Our HRT would it understand the abbreviation heart hormone replacement therapy and what cancer. If it wasn't understood as the meshes and they weren't mapped to the right meshes, then I would come and end them. It's an etiology question, so it increased in number, as you can see. I cannot say it is right or wrong until I come and see into the see all search details. I don't know why it's mapping me here to the old uh, PubMed all over again. So neoplasm is mapped to the right mesh. HRT was not mapped to the right mesh. And perimenopause was back to the right mesh. So how can I fix this? I come and type hormonal replacement therapy. It's a smart end. So it must understand that hormone replacement therapy is one concept and not put an end between them. So perimenopausal is mapped to the right mesh. Hormonal replacement therapy. Oh, so it did map the hormonal replacement therapy. So I... In, Especially that I intentionally wrote it hormonal to just tell you sometimes these glitches might ban you from being mapped to the right mesh. Sometimes. In this case, no. It was mapped to the right mesh. Hormone replacement therapy. And of course, cancer is always is. And I get eight results straightforward. The broad etiology. No need for me to select any limits at this stage. There you go. These are the answers for you. That would answer you uh, for your uh, patient in front of you. And that's how we go about looking for etiology, EBM, clinical scenario questions in PubMed. Remember, tips for increasing, tips for decreasing the results, narrowing and broadening the search all the time depends on your time, depends on how much of literature did you find relevant or not.